We've come to John 7 37 to 39. Now, on the final and most important day of the feast, Jesus stood. When you arrived there, you asked, What feast? It was the feast of tabernacles. What we are celebrating today. Amen. So, on the important day of the feast, Jesus stood and he cried in a loud voice. If any man is thirsty, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I'm physically thirsty. I'm emotionally thirsty. I'm psychologically thirsty. I'm bodily thirsty. Somebody say, I'm thirsty. 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 Come on. Come on. I know you are thirsty. Don't be ashamed to say you are thirsty. I was reading the book of John chapter 4 and I see Jesus tired of his travel sitting down and thirsty every human being comes to a time of being thirsty thirst is part of our need the body must must have water I learned that the body holds 70% of water or something like that I've, I've really not said but that is something I heard and when we are in the womb we covered with water when we break out from the womb it's water that breaks out first and in my first study I learned that man cannot live three days without water some have gone four days like Jesus Jesus stood and said, whoever, why would Jesus say whoever is thirsty? When the human being, the body needs water to live. Jesus says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. But Jesus also. Calling out for those who are thirsty. And this is an enigma to me because every human being first, first, and then drinks water. Jesus stood. And as I cry out tonight on the Feast of Tabernacles, I pray that my voice becomes the voice of God, the voice of Christ. Cry now. Come on to me, all you who are thirsty. Come on to me, all you who labor and are heaven laden, and I'll give you rest. Christ, my sugar is Christ, my rest. Jesus on the feast of tabernacles when the priest we are busy pouring out water on the final day the most important why would the bible make some day most important somebody is telling me oh we are Christians every day is important now I am reading John chapter 7 and it saying one day was the most important what day was it what day was it why Jesus was waiting for an important day Maybe the brothers left on the second day, first day. But the important day was the seventh day according to scholars. Well, Bible says I think the eighth day. But scholars argue that it was the seventh day. Which will be Sunday. But we are here to celebrate the second day of the Sukkot. And since we are spiritual Israelites, as someone said, every day is holy to us. But Jesus... So when you say Jesus the Messiah celebrated the festivals, please don't confuse things because there are so many teachings that are going on, conflating idolatry with Christianity, conflating Hebraism with Christianity. Jesus celebrated the feast according to God's perspective, not according to the Jewish traditional perspective. So how did Jesus celebrate the feast? So you don't build some ark carry it around and think you are the spiritual most spiritual person 
Jesus is the ark. He is the tabernacle. So why are you carrying that wooden box? Too? So many things are happening. So many things are happening. But the scripture is clear. You know this is a season where our main theme is P U S H. P for pray. U for until. S for something. H for happens. So I was saying what has pray uh, until something happens got to do with the feast of Sukkah. And we are here to pray until something happens. And God by his own mercy took me through. And we're going to pray until something happens. What? That Christ becomes our Sukkah. Sukkah. Somebody says Christ is my Sukkah. Why did I choose this topic? Because Paul tells us in his letters that Christ our Passover lamb has been sacrificed. All right. So when the Jews were sacrificing lambs in the temple, Paul says Christ is our sacrifice. So that is why on the Passover we don't sacrifice animals. And I stand here upon John chapter 7 to decree that Christ is not only our Passover because the three feasts one was Passover and then one <coughs> was the Feast of Tabernacles. And Christ embodied all of the feasts. That is why as a believer you need to know and if you appropriate Passover and the blood then you must learn to appropriate. Last week we appropriated the blood the atonement because it was young Kippur. So if Christ is our Passover then Christ is also a sukkah. So we need to know what happens at the festival of booths, festival of ingathering, the feast of tabernacles, or the sukkah. On this day, when the Jews had lighted light all around, when the priests were pouring water, they did it every day till the eighth day. On the most important day, not the first day, not the second day, not the third day, not the fourth day, not the fifth day, not the sixth day. On the most important day, oh yo 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 yo, on the most important day, Jesus stood and cried in a loud voice. Even if, most important day, please underline it. On the most important day, Jesus stood and cried, If any man thirst is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, who cleaves and relies on me, as the scripture has said, from his innermost being shall flow springs of living water. That is why I made us sing the living water song. Now he was speaking here of the spirit from whom those who believed received for the Holy Spirit had not yet but I want had not yet been given so John 737 on the most important day of your life can you be thirsty on your wedding day can you be thirsty Bible tells us that water is so evident from creation. Remember, we, we are in the season of creation, new beginning, new things, new year. And I see water all over. So I went to the book of John, which is parallel to Genesis. And I saw in Gen John 1, baptism, water. Jesus identified by John as the Lamb of God. I go to John chapter 2. I see the wedding at Cana. Where he turns what? Water into wine. When are the most important day of somebody's life? Then I go to John chapter 3. Then I see this big shot theologian who goes to Jesus by night. The most important day of his life. He has struggled. He had debated should I go should I not go 
one night the most important day he goes to Jesus and Jesus presents water 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 unless a man is born of the spirit water and we go to John chapter 4 water Jesus himself is thirsty as a human being my God most important day of his life when was it when it was appointed that he goes through Samaria yet he thirsted and here comes the woman to present him a woman throwing out water from Jacob's well Jesus presents himself to the woman and say I am the living water water John chapter 5 there by the pool of Siloam Jesus presents himself as the purifying water so in John chapter 1 he is the baptizing water that is fire John chapter 2 is the water that turns into wine John chapter 3 is the water of the spirit John chapter 4 he is the water that purifies that returns people to their destiny John chapter 5 he is the water that cleanses John chapter 6 John chapter 7 he stands out boldly to everyone and shouts so you would not tell me about then why are you shouting the bible says in John chapter 7 Jesus stood and shouted why he shouted I cannot tell but I know that he wanted to catch the attention so somebody would say I did not know but my enigma was why does he say whoever is thirsty because they were receiving water from another angle like the Samaritan woman who was going for water from Jacob's well water is symbolic of life water is symbolic of healing water is symbolic of the gifts of the spirit what is symbolic of the miracles of Jesus? Water. Somebody say water. 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 Only the hand of God provides water. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus emphatically tells the woman of Samaria. Jesus tells her, I am that water. And if I, you drink of this water, you will never test again. Water. Somebody say water. Are you thirsty? That is the question. Water. Please mark it. We get in somewhere. On the important day of a person's life, I was watching a YouTube, is it YouTube or Facebook? A girl that was jived, if that is the word. On her wedding day, she had dressed herself standing by the altar, waiting for the groom. He calls the guy. He says, I'm on my way calls the guy he says I'm on my way so the mother said you know let me check the restaurant where we're going to eat maybe he's busy he calls the restaurant they said there's no wedding coming on the mother nearly fainted calls the daughter he said so they called the guy then he picks he said I've got a traffic jam I'm on my way he didn't know the uh, hotel manager where they are going they had booked twenty thousand dollars and the man said hey tell the girl the truth you took the money and ran away no, there is not going to be. Where did they? Can you be thirsty? This is the craft of Satan. He is good at it. When you are planning to celebrate your 50th birthday, he's planning a disgrace. Important day of one's life could be their graduation, their birthday, their, their, their time they are giving birth to their newborn baby. Important day, important day, important day, important day of somebody's life. The enemy was lying at their heels, ready to cause havoc. The girl nearly fainted. Jesus is saying, in the most important day of your life, you need him. Why do you need him? Because 
impossible to be tested on the important day of your life. At the wedding, testing means need, lack, which is essential. And if you don't have it, you can die. When you need a doctor for the operation, the doctor is in the cabin somewhere with her girlfriend. Left the food, forgot the appointment, and you are your life is at risk. Rick. Say, oh God, oh Jesus, my sugar, never let it be that on my important day I will lack your presence. For sugar is symbolic of the presence of God. Come on, pray. Oh God, let God, oh God, let it not be that your presence will be missed at the most important day. Of my life, pray. Kapata la bata ya kabala kada, kabala kada ya kata la bada ba, apala pala kada ya ba, adala ba 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 ba. I was watching also a guy who was having a birthday. It was a birthday or a party or something. All the tables set, everything there. Nobody came. Nobody came. It has happened to me before. It was not a birthday. I was having a concert. With the Brescia municipality, big concert. I had my band, the Afro Gospel Band. I was at the theater. We have rehearsed and everything, but I had heard rumors one or two, but I didn't take it. Standing in front of this big crowd, San Carlino, the theater San Carlino in Brescia, waiting for my instrumentalist. Not even one. Jesus Thank God that there was one Italian brother Who knew all my songs Who followed all my concerts So he came on stage And instead of playing the Afro gospel reggae So that is what we used to do We used to do only reggae songs Christian reggae No woman no cry We sing no Jesus no lie That is what we are doing so he came and we worshipped in the spirit of God oh you needed the spirit of God Christ the suka this is what Jesus is telling us tonight and at the end healings demons were fleeing those who came to enchant were running away Jesus was Lord. So when the enemy had planned to shame me on an important day, God's presence stilled the power of the enemy to shame. So Jesus is asking, He's standing in the most important day of your life most important day of my life most important season you are in right now and he's saying are you thirsty join lady apostle diana and you on the good news tv and on facebook every wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m bsd and on sundays from 7 to 8 p.m bsd for a live virtual prayer camp encounter dub. It's a new day. Awake your dawn through the word. Worship. Warfare. On the Good News TV, that's www.goodnewstv.org.uk and on Facebook, Lady. AP, Diana Adu Christo.